All right, we got some more stuff to kill. Let's look at central processing. All right. Okay. Super shotgun, yeah. Well, it's it's called a double barrel shotgun, but I don't care. Just having this weird uh, frame rate problem again. Yeah, somebody mentioned that uh, this whole thing with OpenGL, uh, you know, being kind of a different thing of you know rendering stuff. Somebody mentioned that it wasn't wasn't fully optimized or something, and I can understand that. And we got ourselves a nail gun. Hey, that's pretty good for. Uh, down these enemies at a, in a good straight line, because I think these nails go like straight through them. There you go. You see? Straight right through them. Pretty much. And let's get the last few bits of stuff. I'm kind of not in the mood to play in this right now. Well, it's just like nothing special is going on right now. And... Everything's just been boring day in and day out. I don't know. Maybe there's a little spot over here. Filled with ammo and uh, some more armor. Nice. Oh, whoa, see, there you go, there it goes again. There goes the frame rate uh, problem again. I don't know why it does that. <sighs> it just decides whenever it wants to, but uh, being a dick. <clears throat> Freeze you up. That way you don't drop that weird bomb thing. And got some more stuff down here. I pressed start to activate the radiation suit because I had one in hand. And uh, demonic hurt, that always helps. Alright. And Stone of Tempress. Um where have I I forgot what it exactly does. I know I've read somewhere in the Eons of Death form giving an explanation to the item power-ups. I know, I'm going to have to check later. Don't have to remind me. And more of these. Ow! Damn it. That'd be an odd spot. Oh, one cool thing to mention about this mod. Yeah, that some of the objects in this game are now uh, destruct. Some of the objects, like those things, are de destructible now. Oh god. And yes, I heard it several times. It's that thing is a jackalope. Ow. I mean, it's not not really an ow. I meant what the hell? As in lag again. Wait, why am I using that? Care to rain on my parade again? Weird lag problem? Yeah, something's probably... Probably something's up with my uh, source port. The version of the source port, source port I'm using. Heh, those armor bonuses are in the shape of an arrow, that's funny. I've been trying to... 
before I started this LP, I was trying to look around for uh, more stable versions of the source board. You stop shooting me. Trying to look for more stable version version of this uh, source port because because you know I wanted to try to do this whole run without those without that weird frame rate lag thing. Yeah, people said that this uh, for some reason the source port is kind of like not optimized and getting some. Thing. Something about a memory leak? I don't know. Someone can point me out to uh, someone point me out to a m better stable version that'll help. And I was gonna lob grenades around the corner, but apparently they knew I existed. Hey. Alright, now that you're freaking out of the way, I have to flip this corner here. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Somebody requested that I use the flat cannon. Well, here you go. Times two. Here, let me use that radiation suit. Pretty much tore all those guys to bits. <laughs> hey, there's some more. Okay, we're done with that. And go over here. How the heck did I open the door? Uh, the the damn it. Had to. Blow me off the branch. Not the wrong kind of blow me off a thing. Oh, Jesus. What was that thing I didn't blow off anyway? Oh, this thing. I don't like it. What was it called? Just bio rifle? Nah. I'm being kind of picky about the items, about the weapons I want. Uh, I think somebody wanted me to go ahead and collect all, all as much item, much weapons as I can. Really, uh, I think I already stated this, but no, I wanted to keep my weapons limited and keeping some good ones and keep things better organized because trying to frick, ow, bastard. Okay, never mind. Let me go through my item selection here, see what else I can use up. Then I can use up that light amplification, not really that much, because I, I can see just fine. But I'll use it up anyway. Ah, oh, that worked out just fine. Although I'm probably going to need some more explosives down in this part. Might as well go ahead and activate that thing since I have two of them. Stone of Tempers, it's called. I think it has something to do with uh, damage reduction and being impervious to certain things. But I'm not sure. Alright, let me lay down some traps here, because I know this next part's a trap. Oh, I, I wish I didn't flip that switch. Because I should have dealt with this trap first. No, not you. Not you. Not ever you. Oh, 
Wait, I heard some sort of noise. I don't know what I picked up. Ow! Come on. Okay, end of, end of the line for you. Jeez. Um, wait, what else did I pick up? Oh, diabolical dice. Now this, um, those of you who play TF2 and you would know the little mod roll the dice thing, that's basically what this diabolical dice is. You can either get, you probably get something good or bad because it's all random. And the more dice you get, uh, well, uh, the, the higher the number you can go, uh, just to get what different effects you can get. We'll try it later on, and that's pretty much everyone. Uh, thank goodness. What other multiple stuff can I use up? Uh, nothing really. I could probably use up this fear rune. Fear rune is not really that useful. And I can use up that blur rune as well, just to keep things organized. Alright, end it. And there we go, that's central processing. And our next map is the computer station. Alright, join me then.